Welcome to the fourth video on the binary numbers. This video again going to be about converting decimal numbers into binary numbers, but this video will use a different method. This method is called the division method. In this method, we're going to exploit the fundamental property of the binary number system that every single place value there is a multiple of two. So let's start with a simple example. Let's say 15. So what does 15 in decimal look like in binary? So let's divide 15 by 2. 15 divided by 2 gives me 7 and the remainder is 1 because 2 times 7 only makes up 14. So I still need to add 1 as a remainder. Then divide the number again. So 7 divided by 2 gives me 3 and again I have got a remainder of 1 because 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 makes the 7. 3 divided by 2 gives me 1 because 1 times 2 is 2 but I still got a remainder of 1. And then 1 divided by 2 gives me 0 and the remainder is 1. Now there is one trick here which is once you've got your number sequence here, the remainder sequence, when you're recording it, you need to record it from bottom up. Why is that? Well, when I'm first dividing by 2 here, I'm only dividing by the smallest place value. Then I'm dividing by a bigger place value and this one is the biggest place value. That's why when I'm recording I need to start from bottom up. Now in this particular case it will make no difference because these are all digits of ones uh, but in other examples you will see that there is a difference. Another thing is you cannot stop your division here because this means that you haven't divided by all the necessary place values. You have to keep going until you get an uh, answer of zero here. So that's the last last step. So 15 in decimal is 1 one, one, one in binary. Now if we want to be really sure about that we've done the conversion correctly we can check it going backwards simply just putting the place values on top of the number. I suggest that until you become familiar with the method that you carry on doing these double checks. So that's one, two, four, eight and I know that eight plus two makes ten and I know that four plus one makes five so yes indeed this is 15. Let's look at the next example. The next example is 24. So what is 24 divided by 2? 24 divided by 2 gives me 12 and in this case I've got no remainders. Again 12 divided by 2 gives me 6 no remainders. 6 divided by 2 gives me 3 no remainders and 3 divided by 2 gives me 1, remainder 1, and don't forget the last step, 1 divided by 2 gives me 0 and the remainder is 1. Again, copy the digits bottom up, so 24 in decimal equals 1, 1, 0, 0, 0 in binary. Again, let's do a quick check if this answer is actually correct or not. So put the place values on top of each digit, so 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 16 plus 8 is indeed 24. Next example, 67. 67 divided by 2. Now the number starts to get a little bit bigger, then the division gets a little bit trickier. But there is always something that you can use. How many 2's go into 6? Well, 3, therefore 2's into 60 will be 30 something. And how many 2's goes into 7? Well, 3, because 3 times 2 is 6, so I've got a remainder of 1. Again, do the division. 30 divided by 2 is 15, and 3 divided by 2 is 1. So this will be 16 and remainder 1. The double of 16 is 32, add 1 gives 33. 16 divided by 2 makes 8, remainder 0. 8 divided by 2 gives 4, remainder 0. 4 divided by 2 gives 2, remainder 0. 
2 di uh, divided by 2 gives you 1, remainder 0, and 1 divided by 2 is 0, remainder 1. So, 67 in decimal is, again don't forget we need to copy down up, is 1, 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros and 1, 1 in binary. Just quickly double check, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. 64 plus 3 makes 67, so I'm happy because the answer is correct. Next example, 89. Again, I need to divide it by 2. So 89 divided by 2. Well, this is an odd number, so I know that the remainder will be 1. So how about instead of 89, dividing 88 by 2. Well, 88 divided by 2 is 44, so that's slightly easier to do. 44 divided by 2 is 22, remember I'm just halving it, and the remainder will be 0. 22 divided by 2 gives me 11, again half of 22 is 11, remainder 0. 11 divided by 2, again the remainder will be 1, and if I take 1 from 11 that gives me 10, so 11 divided by 2 2 is 5 and remainder 1. 5 divided by 2 is 2, remainder 1, because 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 makes a 5. 2 divided by 2 is 1, no remainder, and 1 divided by 2 is 0 with 1 remainder. Remember, I need to finish up with this 0 here. And again, I need to copy the digits bottom up. So, 89 in decimal is 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1 in binary. I'm going to leave you to check if the answer is correct. The last example for using the division method to convert decimal to binary numbers will be 272. Now, divide that by 2. I know this is an even number, therefore my remainder will be 0. But 272 is quite a big number to have in my head. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to partition it. So I'm going to have 200 first. Half of 200 is 100. Then I'm going to have 70. Half of 70 is 35. And I'm going to have 2. Half of 2 is 1. So the half of 272 is 130. 6, which is the sum of all these halves. So again, divide that by 2. Remainder again will be 0 because it's again an even number. So what's the half of 100? Half of 100 is 50. What's the half of 30? Half of 30 is 15. And what's the half of 6? Is 3. So altogether, this is 68. Divide that by 2. That's going to give me a remainder of 0 because that's an even number. And what's the half of 68? Well, half of 60 is 30 and half of 8 is 4, so this will be 34. Divide that by 2. The remainder will be 0 because this is an even number. 34 is, might not be as easy to half as 68 was because half of 30 is 15. And half of 4 is 2, so that gives me 17. 17 divided by 2, that's an odd number, so my remainder will be 1. And if I take that remainder away from the number, I will left with 16, and half of 16 is 8. So 8 divided by 2, again the remainder will be 0 because it's an even number, half of that is 4. 4 divided by 2, remainder will be 0 again, and the answer is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, remainder is 0, and 1 divided by 2 is 0, remainder of 1. Again, I have to stress that you haven't finished at this point of the algorithm, because you need to go where then you have got 0 as the answer for the division. So, copy the digit bottom up. 272 in decimal is equal to 1 followed by 3 zeros and 1 followed by 4 zeros in binary. 
Now that number looks slightly suspicious so let's double check that this is actually the correct number that we wanted. So 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256. So what I've got here is 256 add 16. So 256 plus 10 is 266 plus 6 that is indeed 272. So these were the examples to show you how to use the division method to convert decimal numbers to binary numbers. In the next few minutes I'm going to show you some extra practice questions that you can do yourself and then I will show you the answers. I suggest that you pause the video while you're carrying out the calculations so your fun won't be spoiled. So these are the practice questions. And here are the answers.